Imagine yourself visiting here over seven centuries ago and receiving an invitation into this cliff-dwelling home. What you would have seen might well have been something like this cutaway model of Montezuma Castle. On the top floor, the elderly village lookout keeps his solitary vigil. His eyes search for approaching danger to those working the fields below the castle. It seems that over the ages, children and their actions change very little. On the fourth floor, you'll find a concerned mother scurrying to reach her adventuresome son, precariously balanced on the edge of the roof. On the third floor, an aging man leads his blind wife across the balcony. You'll also meet women busily preparing food, getting supplies from storerooms, making pottery and grinding corn. Usually women ground the corn, their staple food, only in small as needed quantities and prepared it in various ways. Weavers use the second floor loom to weave cotton breech cloths, bags and blankets. Today you can see examples of their varied weaving patterns in the visitor center. Villagers use the wooden ladders as stairways to carry up provisions from fields and water from Beaver Creek. On the ledge at the base of the central tower-like section, a man prepares to start a fire using a friction drill. Nearby, a young woman awaits the returning hunters who bring wild game as variety to the village diet. We encourage you to think beyond ancient stone walls and vacant rooms to the remains of a once vibrant village, a village of people who experienced wants and needs, anxieties and fears, joys and sorrows, just as you and I today.
think Montezuma would be flatter. Dick.